Pretty cool, huh, Lucy? It's pretty amazing that it's on the wall, huh? Hello, Amazon.com. Me, Bo Chevazu, coming to you today with a tiny little projector. Oh, I just touched something up on top. Well, that was embarrassing. Let's go ahead and push back. So what I am going to show you right here is just uh, very briefly, you'll probably see that it is very fuzzy right there. When you initially get it, go ahead and peel this little section off on the side. It, it might even be a little hard to, to find it, so you might have to get like a pocket knife or something and pry off that thing. Then once you plug it in, uh, then it will automatically start up once you open up this little slider thing and then it will project on a wall somewhere. It might be a little fuzzy, and if you're confused like me and you're trying to focus it to actually see what's going on, all you have to do is gently press the red right here, and then this little thing will pop up, this focus ring. And then you're going to either tap up or tap down. And so let's go ahead and tap up as we watch the focus ring, and it gently gets sharper and sharper and sharper, and I'm just tapping it gently like this. Okay, and look at that, that is razor, razor sharp. That is really darn cool. Also, a rather interesting thing, just initial impressions right out of the box. Let's go ahead and just kind of put it down like that. It automatically adjusts, to, what's it called, keystone? Um, you know how when you push it, put it up, it's kind of, watch it, watch it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, look at that, it automatically adjusted so that it wasn't distorted. You, you know what I mean, kind of like a, is it a trapezoid, is that the shape? But anyway, that's the initial right out of the box. That's what you gotta do in order to get this going. Let's go ahead and actually tap that again to get rid of that focus th ring. Three, two, one, tap, and now that is gone. Now, I have produced a few video reviews for a few projectors, but I will say that the user interface on this is probably one of the most intuitive. So in order to actually adjust the cursor and navigate around, is a it's a touch screen here so as i move this from the right to the left you'll see that it goes from the right to the left and i'm just moving it very gently if uh if you move it too hard obviously this whole thing is gonna just move around like that so at that point you would probably be using the uh, little um, remote control with which it comes with so let's go ahead and pair that remote control shall we so we're gonna go up to that little setting we're gonna just tap that there which will select that and then we're going to go over to bluetooth settings tap that uh, if you're familiar with a, a smartphone it's it's pretty much the same so uh, we're going to push the okay and volume down where's the volume down the volume down should be right there so let's go ahead and hold that down for five seconds wait for that little light to blink up there and up oh, there it goes oh, and now we are connected looks like it automatically connected to the Bluetooth once we uh, put it into pairing mode. Fantastic. All right, let's go over to the Wi-Fi setting. And of course we can just use this to go over there. As you can see, it makes a soft little clicking noise as you do that. Or you can also use the touch sensor on here so you don't necessarily need uh, that remote control. But let's go over to Wi-Fi, click on that. And we are going to go down to Hillary's email server probably the easiest Wi-Fi to get in in the world, and we're gonna go ahead and connect to that. I've just entered my password. We're gonna go ahead and click next on here, and lo and behold, it is getting the IP address. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Hey, we are connected. This is pretty fast. And one other thing to do before you get up and running is I would recommend going over to, so you can see in the upper right as we're going from so uh, by the way, that one right there, that is a supposed to be an HDMI symbol. So that's in case you want to plug your HDMI cable into the side of here, you just uh, use that to select. But anyway, that's not the point of this. We're gonna go over to the settings right there and click OK. And I would actually recommend going down to general and then all the way down to online upgrade. It uh, sounds a little funny, but what, what you're trying to do is basically just download the newest version, um, and I would recommend doing that before anything else. Really shouldn't take long, as you can see, 100%, click to update, and it will go ahead. I don't know why it's saying upgrading, really what it's doing is updating. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up the YouTube app just to show you a brief example of what it does look and sound like. Now, you'll notice in the environment right here, just in my living room, it's, uh, oh, it's a nice, 
not not quite dusk, but it is evening time as we look outside. So there is still a kind of a bit of brightness in the room, as you can see in our messy living room. But you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, we don't have to sign in quite yet. Uh, let's go ahead and click down and skip. Uh, let's just choose any of these right here. How about astronauts return home, NASA? Okay. They're acting the motion of, of the crew's muscle. And so when they're exercising, they're exercising against that resistance. Some really pretty views from the interior of Dragon. Looks like we might actually have a call here from Bob shortly. Pretty interesting, huh? Let's go ahead and turn down the volume, shall we? So that's this one right here. So the picture quality is surprisingly good packed into something that is this small. Uh, I would recommend having a room as dark as possible. As a matter of fact, I'm going to actually show you. I'm going to pick this up and we're going to put it on the back of the room right here to show you how dim it is. See how you can barely see it? It's because the ambient light is pretty darn bright right now. Of course, we will have to go through the whole focusing thing, which is, of course, as you know, clicking that and then clicking down or up to actually adjust that. And uh, that's gonna take a little while to do, but I just wanted to kind of show you that you can't quite see it very well in bright light like this. Now, the last thing I want to point out to you guys is there are some rather limited ports when it comes to uh, hooking up your audio. So let's go ahead and turn this. I just wanted to show you, and uh, just so that you know 100% that it does have a little USB in. So let's say, for example, I wanted to mirror the things off of my MacBook Pro, or uh, let's say, for example, my iPhone. Then I would just plug in my lightning cable into my iPhone and then plug into that little USB right there. Additionally, I can also plug in via HDMI, but you will notice that there are no headphone jacks or anything of that nature on the side of this. So if you were looking to have audio come directly out of this, then you're probably gonna have to pair it via Bluetooth. Or, let's say for example, this remote control is your laptop and you wanna watch Netflix on here and project it up onto the wall. What you would do is you would connect it through HDMI to here and that will suffice for the image. Then for the audio from the laptop, you will have that audio come out through a separate cable, like a headphone jack or something like that. But you're probably not gonna get very good audio out of this. Just using the onboard uh, speaker, it, it's not very loud at all. Uh, maybe if you're sitting right next to the, it, it might work. But uh, let me just show you a real quick example of how to hook this up to uh, Bluetooth headphones. Let's say that you are the only person who is watching this and you wanted to watch some Netflix. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple. So I have some Bone Wave uh, bone conduction headphones. I'm reviewing quite a few of these bone conduction headphones, uh, they're, they're very interesting. They don't actually go in the ears, they actually sit right on your temple, or rather right in front of your ears. Uh, very, very fascinating headphones, but anyway. These are Bluetooth, notice that there's no connection here, okay? So let's go ahead and click on the home button to actually go back to home. We are gonna go over to settings, click settings, and then Bluetooth, and then at Bluetooth, you will notice that there are no real paired device until I go over to my headset and I'm gonna go ahead and hold that down. And oh, will you look at that? There are our bone waves right there. Let's go ahead and click connect and enter. There we go, our headphones are now connected. Uh, let's go to, back to the menu. And oh, look at that. Now it is playing through our Bluetooth headphones and we can sit on the couch in our own privacy and get some incredible audio as we take in some beautiful painting. So that's it. All right, so my final verdict of this is five out of five stars, small, lightweight, portable. I would recommend connecting it directly to power. Don't necessarily rely off of watching a full length movie. If you are doing some kind of um, portable, like you're, let's say you're taking this to camp and you're watching a movie with your kids, um, it, it's not gonna last very long. You can actually hear the fan right there because it's running pretty hot. Uh, I actually have it on the brightest possible setting. But if you are able to augment the power by plugging it directly in, 
and you are also able to uh, secure audio directly from your laptop uh, as opposed to audio directly from that, then it will definitely work. I would say for most people who are using this to actually show, uh, let's say it's a business presentation like PowerPoint, it'll probably be really awesome, uh, at least if in fact you're doing lots of traveling. So that's it. I hope that this small little demonstration and quick setup is helpful in determining whether or not this is right for you. And Lucy, what are you, are you listening to Bob Ross right now as he's painting? Yeah, that is pretty cool. Wow. And just like that, we have a huge giant screen TV right on our wall. Well, actually right now it's only about 12 inches because I'm just demonstrating it for you. All right, that's it. My name is Bo Shepsu. Catch you later.